so again we will do math so can you tell me that uh, what link that we have to open beta actually that is not uh, getting stored in my laptop i don't know why yes uh, i think it's called blue code mouse uh, can you spell that b l u e b l u e Take the blue coat mask. Oh yes, blue coat mask. Oh, now I understand that blue coat. Okay, so year nine. What's wrong with them? Did my recording uh, get recorded yesterday? Pardon? You know the uh, recording? Did it get recorded yesterday? Uh, oh my god, sorry. I think that uh, I forget to upload that. Oh my god. Actually, yesterday, beta, I was teaching continuously for uh, 13 14 hours. I, and then I was too tired, and then I I lay down for 3 or 4 hours, and then again it started, and continuously I'm teaching till then. I am teaching till 11 o'clock and as, as per my time in morning again. So I think I forgot that. I, I will upload that in one or two hours. But that, that one and today's. Okay. 100%. Yes. So give me a second. And uh, what we were doing? Uh, yeah. Algebraic manipulation. Yes. 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 Great. I am opening that one, Vita. And then we will start that. Here now, um, algebraic manipulation. And in algebraic manipulation, what we were doing? Factorizing problem, huh? Yes. Great. I'm opening that. It's a PowerPoint. It's coming. My voice is coming clearly to you, Bita. Yeah. yeah. So as uh, we were doing these questions over there, and we were on uh, like the sixth, seventh slide. Oh yes, yes. I'm going through there. Give me a second. <coughs> yeah, I'm opening my graphic tablet. Give me a second. Yes, I'm here. Uh, six or seven slide. Six. Okay. Oh yes. So uh, I think this one that I explained that to you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I can explain yeah. one more time. Oh yes. Why not, beta? I'll explain you a hundred times if you ask me. Don't worry. Doesn't matter of that one. I'll explain that hundred times. Uh, enable editing let's see that i think that uh, yeah it came now this smart graphics okay wait hold on okay now you can see that but uh, question they are saying that a equals to x square minus 10x plus 16 centimeter square fundamentally if you would like to see it then in first side that it is in a form of quadratic equation clear yeah great and then that means that uh, they are saying that uh, how do we calculate the area of rectangle it's the area okay. of rectangle okay so uh, how do we calculate that means we have to uh, me solve it what type of expression have we been given it is your quadratic expression okay Okay. Yeah, your answer will be quadratic. Quadratic. Quadratic expression. Oh, wait a second. Hey, that disappeared here. That disappeared from here. Why? I think we have to go to draw. Oh, sorry. No, no, no problem, no problem. I don't know that why it is coming because that in previous time that uh, when I use that, 
then it was much convenient for me to do. It is back. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Okay. Oh, that's uh, Oh, now it is coming. Quadratic. Yes. Quadratic expression. Okay, no problem. So how do we calculate the area of rectangle? Now you can see that you have to solve your area. Okay, so that means area is given x square minus 10x plus 16. Are you able to see clearly on your screen? Yes. Great. So here you can see that here is 16. You have to factorize 16 in such a way. Here is 16 and here is 1. Okay. Okay. Oh, give me a second. I think uh, one is crossing that one. So, sorry for that. One I have to. Um, yes. So, it is your one here. So, <laughs> 16 ones are 16. Now you have to factorize 16 in such a way. So, as it's addition or subtraction, that will be equals to 10. So, 16 factor, you can see on your right hand side, here is 16. So, as I explained that to you very conveniently that uh, you have to do like 1 times 16. You have to start from 1. 2 times 8. Oh my God, we get it. 2 and 8. If you add 2 and 8, then you'll get 10 there. So, that means, what does it mean? It means that when you'll get your factors, which you will add that to make 10, then you have to plug in that value into your expression. So, like it will be uh, x square minus in place of 10, you can write here 8 plus 2. Do you understand it? Yeah. yeah. Great. x and plus 16, that will be as it is. Now, um, okay. Okay, other color that you can see here. Yeah. So now it will be <coughs> uh, I'm opening parenthesis x square minus 8x minus 2x plus 16. Do you understand it? Yeah. yeah. Now take common in twos. That means first two term and next two term. So here is x square minus 8x. X you can take as common. So it will be x minus 8 minus 2 you can take common. Yeah, you was asking yesterday that uh, sir what we have to take common. How will you consider that? Okay. So oh. you can see that in first two terms that you can take that x that you can take common. And most probably, almost in all the terms, all the type of whatever that you will see here, minus 2, okay, that you have to take common, okay, most probably 95%, okay, okay, yeah, minus 2, okay, and then when you'll take minus 2 as common, in parenthesis, there will be x minus 8, clear? Yeah. yeah. Now clearly I can understand that x minus 8 is here, x minus 8 is here. You can take common again, x minus 8. And x minus 2, that will be here also. Okay? So it is your yes. solution. It is your solution. Also that, if they would like to ask you that, what will be the length or breadth of rectangle? So 100% that x minus 8 f any value that you can plug in over there okay any value that you can plug in over there so that means uh, uh hold on so it will be like uh, you can write uh, for just for understanding for x equals to 10 okay 
just for example okay that means how will you consider that which one will be will be your length and which one will be your breadth 4x equals to 10 so that is 10 oh please give me a second yeah so now oh, x equals to 10 your expression is x minus 10 and that means it will be equals to x minus 8 it is oh, oh. x minus 8 so x minus 8 it is so x minus 8 that means 10 minus 8 it will be equals to 2 okay and then uh, next expression is x minus 2 so that means it will be therefore 10 minus 2 that means it will be 8 oh now I can clearly understand that that means here you can see that this quantity is less or not yeah so that means it will be what uh, it will be breath okay yes because uh, uh, breath that will be less than length so that means it will be x minus 8 okay and what yeah. will be your length the largest value that will be your length it is more that means it will be your x minus 2 do you understand that yes, yes. <coughs> Yes, but I'll upload your class just after your class, okay? I will take a few minutes and then quickly I will upload that. Your class is recording. Okay, do you understand it? Yes. Very good. We can write a quadratic identity by factorization. Factorizing. How does this help? Yes, by quadratic identity that we solve this one okay so it is your perfect solution now we can move to the second slide um, oh yes now you can see that clearly that x minus 8 and x minus 2 you can see that just see previous x minus 8 x minus 2 you are seeing here yes so in that condition here also x minus 8 x minus 2 Understand? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So isn't that in the like wrong place? place? Or is, is the x, x minus two going to be the the, uh, the, width, the width or the length? length? X minus two. Uh, I think in my opinion <laughs> that will be your length. I think in the same there is also. Oh wait a second! But no, 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 no. You know that. One more important thing that. I am telling you in right way beta you know for any value of okay for any value of x okay any value of x suppose that if it, if it will be 14 14 minus 8 that you will get 6 14 minus 2 it you will get that 12 so it will 100 percent I am sure about that x minus 2 will be your length and x minus 8 that will be your breadth okay I'm sure about that and there is yeah you can also understand that there is a miss specific reason if I mean suppose that I'm I'm taking another value okay I'm taking another value suppose that any other another value that you can take that for x equals to x equals to 20 okay okay yeah because that expression is x minus 8 and x minus 2 that you saw that that you had solved that here okay yeah. you solve that here you can see that which I am circling here okay yeah. x minus 8 x minus 2 okay so for x equals to 20 first expression is x minus 8 so that means it will be 20 minus 8 okay, okay. and it will be 12 clear yeah. second expression that is your second expression is your x minus 2 okay that is equals to 20 minus 2 and then it will be your 18 now clearly you can understand this one and this one so what will be your length clearly you can understand that 18 that will be your length that means 
x minus 2 that will be your length okay okay yes now you understand yes, yes. and it is your breadth or width but none of the teacher in the world can say that it is wrong okay oh. <laughs> but i don't know that why they are writing this one x minus 8 x minus 2 but uh, here here this should be uh, wait i think that your expression is same 16 towards is is okay yeah because and solution you can see that solution whatever that i explained you that it is same what does this tell us when you will simplify your solution or when you will solve your solution it is defined as area beta okay it is okay. area and we know that area equals to length times breadth okay so that okay. means it is your breadth it is your length clear yeah. yeah yes what does this tell us it tell us it uh, wait, wait wait by different color that i can write this so that you'll be able to understand there also that uh, when you would like to see your video how many times you will see that in that way you will be confirmed about all that <coughs> give me a second yes i'm writing here so just see that what does this tell us so it tell us about about wait hold on it tell us about length and breadth length and breadth breadth of rectangle okay yeah understand yeah. now they are asking that oh, what else could we now calculate so okay. of uh, this one we can calculate parameter so they are asking parameter or uh, what else could we now calculate parameter yes we can calculate parameter because the suppose we know that parameter equals to twice of l plus b okay it's your rectangle parameter okay so okay. then you can plug in your values over there so that means it will be 2 in parenthesis that will be x minus 8 and uh, plus x minus 2 understand yeah and then it will be twice of uh, it will be 2x minus 10 okay and finally it will be 4x minus 20 understand yeah that is your parameter that's it do you understand clearly yes great okay so now we can move to the next slide oh yes so that means in pair again next question that they are asking that the area of rectangle can be defined as can be given by the expression a square minus 2a minus 8 by representing the information in a diagram find the expression for the parameter of rectangle oh that's great so first of all we have to solve this expression okay why why the logic is that when we will solve this expression from there we can find length and breadth okay okay yes so first of all copy your expression a square minus 2a minus 8 clear yeah here you can see clearly that 8 you have to factorize 8 in such a way so as its sum or subtract will equals to to clear yeah. <laughs> so 8 can be written as firstly 1 times 8 no 
2 times 4 oh yes 4 minus 2 you will get 2 okay do you understand that yeah so it now next uh, you can do that like uh, a square minus in place of 2 you can write 4 minus 2 okay a is outside minus 8 okay clear yeah open your parentheses a square minus 4a plus 2a don't forget to mul multiply your sine beta minus 4a and minus minus plus 2a okay okay yes now when you do that now you have to take common in both in twos so a square you can take common in this way in this way you can understand very clearly yeah that's the best way to understand also beta my videos i think that uh, do you used to see my videos of your class videos after your class anytime yeah, yeah I see it not after the class but I see it i see it yes and you can see that when you see after your class then a hundred percent that you get efficiency that what i'm explaining there okay so yeah. it is the best way to understand so now take common in two so when you'll take common in two so it will be it will be yeah like uh, a you can take common and then a minus four that will be here okay and yeah. as i as, as i told you trick that whatever will be here number that is plus two now you can take common i told you a trick huh yeah. plus two and then a minus four again it will be so that means a minus four is here <clears throat> a minus four is here a minus four is here you can take a minus four outside i want to create a stunning website a plus two that is other one beta i would i are you saying something else I hear the sound from yeah, it just came from my phone and something. Oh, okay, okay. I thought that uh, you are seeing something else. <clears throat> no. So, beta a minus 4, a minus a plus 2, that you get there, okay? So, it yeah. is your area, okay? It is your okay. area. So, that means what? It is your area, and we know that area, area equals to length times breadth okay okay so that means one will be your length and one be your breadth okay yeah. so that is you can write okay length you have to consider okay so suppose that a equals to 10 okay that okay. is length that is length equals to a equals to 10 10 minus 4 that you will get 6 and uh, 10 plus 2 that you will get 12 oh so that means length equals to a plus 2 clear okay yes and breadth breadth that will be the other one that is a minus 4 okay okay understand how we are considering that which one is your length and which one is your breadth for <coughs> For a equals to 10 okay a equals to 10 that is a minus 4 this expression that will be 10 minus 4 that is 6 okay yeah. and next expression a plus 2 that is equals to 10 plus 2 that is equals to 12 so clearly you can understand that the larger one that is your length okay and a smaller one that will be your breath okay yes. so, so i get, get confused you remember the minuses and uh, and, uh pluses. pluses when, when it's a plus, plus one just because it's, it's, it's okay but then i get confused with like, like minus minus to minus, minus, minus plus. plus where 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 in this step in this, in this question, question a square minus 2a minus a, 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 a 
I, I get confused like how, how to work it out like minus minus. 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 Can, can you, you like tell, tell me once, once you know once you said to me no, seven? Beta, nothing you have to do. Nothing you have to do. Simply you can see that. Just write your expression. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can see that mm, uh, constant term is eight. You have to factorize it in such a way so as you have to get middle term like two. Okay? Okay. And then you are seeing that in place of 2 that I am writing that 4 minus 2. Okay? Okay. And simply open that. That's it. And simplify that. You don't have to consider about minus plus and whatever that is given in expression. Okay? Simply that you can see that in very very easy way that you are seeing that it is your solution. Okay. Understand? Yeah. yeah. Yes, it is the best way, beta. Because you, again, again, I am explaining that. Wait, hold on. I am explaining this question again. Here, quadratic equation on here because that it is your solution. Okay, it is okay. completely. It is your solution here. Yeah, I separate that one. Okay, it's it's a solution. Solution of problem. Okay, and wait, wait, wait. Solution of problem. So before finding a parameter. That I am explaining this quadratic equation again. Copy your quadratic equation a square minus 2a minus 8. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, a little bit. I am feeling cough. <laughs> so a square minus 2a minus 8. Clearly, you can see that what is your constant term? Constant term is your 8. You don't have to consider either your minus sign, plus sign, or any else. No. Okay. Simply 8. Simply 8. And yeah. then you have to factorize 8 in such a way so as you get there 2. Okay. Don't consider minus 2. No. Only 2 I am considering. Only. Okay. So 4 and 2. 4 minus 2, then you will get 2. Now your expression will be a square minus and in place of 2 what you have to write you have to write 4 minus 2 understand okay. and a that is outside and minus 8 as it is you have to copy now you have to open your parenthesis simple so next step that means a square here is minus a, minus a that is outside and 4 is inside. So minus, minus a into 4 that will be minus 4a or not. Yeah. And now minus a into minus 2. So how it will be? Maybe 2a. Plus 2a. Clear? Yeah. Plus 2a. And minus 8 again you have to write copy, miss copy. Understand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah simple that. Take common in twos. Okay. This one and this one. Okay. Yeah. So here when you will take common in twos, here is a square, here is minus 4a. So clear cut that you can take a as common in parentheses remaining thing that will be your a minus 4. Clear? Yeah. yeah. Just I explained that to you that if you want to take common in second one, so most probably that you have to see that your first numeric value that will be your common that is plus two okay it's okay. a it's a trick okay it's a trick so now okay. plus two and then in in your parenthesis whatever it's whatever that you had written in your before parenthesis previous parenthesis that is a minus four that will be again there now a minus four that will be in one parenthesis and a plus 2 that will be in other parentheses. Now I understand clearly? Yeah. yeah. Great. And beta, when you will get this one, so now regarding to this one, whatever, and you, it is your area. So regarding to area, whatever you get there, firstly we have to consider that what is your length and breadth. Because that, then you have to apply your formula there of parameter. We know okay. that parameter equals to twice of length plus breadth okay okay sometimes a student would like to plug in any value 
just for length and any value just for breadth okay yeah. according to commutative law according to commutative law we know that it is a plus b equals to b plus a okay so that was in parenthesis anyone that you can plug in okay but most important thing is that you have to understand that what what will be your length and whatever will be your breadth okay Okay. Are you understanding that? Yes, yes I understand now. Great. Equals to 2 and beta in place of length you have to write that a plus 2. Miss you don't have, don't don't be True. don't be confused that 6 and 12. Sometimes that student would like to write 6 and 12. No. Miss you have to write your expression there. <laughs> that is a plus 2. Like uh, okay in a big bracket will be here and it will be a plus 2 and uh, then plus a minus 4 and in close bracket okay and then yeah. it will be 2 and 2a uh, minus 2 here will be okay and finally you will get your parameter that will be uh, 4a minus 4 okay clear yeah. yeah and if any unit is not given so yeah unit is given centimeter square so perimeter will be this centimeter okay okay do you understand it yes, yes i understand now it is the best way to understand betty and then it will be much convenient for you or any office student okay yeah. to understand very very clearly yeah now next is yes oh wow uh sean as usual you are seeing that this area of a square oh wow area of a square can be given by the expression a b square minus 8a plus 16. Yeah. by presenting this information in the diagram find the expression for the perimeter of rectangle okay that's great so firstly you have to solve this expression okay so just saw that you have pen and copy <coughs> uh yes i just have to go down, downstairs to get my pen oh okay okay take your time i'm waiting Just try that. Otherwise, I will explain that to you. Are you trying better? Yes, yes I'm just working out. Okay, just try that, then I will explain that to you on a screen. Yeah.
you have to factorize 16 in such a way so as to get 8. <coughs> okay, okay. Okay, first, I think, I, think I got, got uh, a, a bracket, bracket B, B minus 8 brackets and B, B minus 2. Uh, what do you get that? B minus? B minus 8 in brackets and B minus 2 in brackets. Uh, I think that, okay, just see on your screen. Okay, very good, beta. Let's see that your answer is right or not. So, if that will be wrong, don't worry about that. A little bit practice that will enhance your efficiency, beta. Copy your expression. B square minus 8B plus 16. Okay? okay. Here you can see clearly that it is 16. So, you have to factorize 16 in such a way so as to get 8. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, 16 firstly start by 1. 1 times 16, 2 times 8, okay, 3, yeah. 4, 4 times 4, oh, got it, 4 and 4 will be your fact factors, okay? Okay. <clears throat> because that you have to factorize in such a way so that there is sum and subtract that should be equals to middle term, okay? So, oh. yes, so in yes. that way, now it will be b square minus, in parentheses, in place of 8, you can write 4 plus 4, okay? Okay. And b will be after, and plus 16, that you have to copy as it is, okay? Now open your parentheses. Next term, that will be b square minus 4b again plus minus minus 4b and plus 16 do you understand it yeah and then next is uh okay so ka uh, take common in twos first two is this one and next two is this one so now yeah i get it's four four yeah. yeah. I, I, I did it wrong. Yeah. So that means now B B minus four. And now you can take minus four as common, okay? I told you that. And B minus four. Understand? Yeah. So in one parenthesis B minus four it will be. And in other parenthesis B minus four again it will be. And that is yeah. your area. Or you can write that area equals to b minus 4 whole square, okay? Because you can see yeah, yeah. that the same term that is there, okay? Always remember that area of a square that will be any term whole square, okay? Okay. I am writing here in highlighting red color. Area of a square. Square means means any any term any term whole square that will be that means when you will get whole square that means you are right and when you will get any term whole square then this term will be your side okay. So can you like change the numbers and give me like another example I can do. So, so I can, can you know, get it perfect. Um, beta, actually, that's why that I am explaining you in a very convenient way. That is whatever expression will be. I think that next question or next slide that will be with respect to another question. Only you have to remember that whatever expression will be and if they are asking about area of a square. So that means and why? Because fundamentally you know that area of a square, area of a square that is formula is your side square okay okay yes so that means always remember that when you will simplify your quadratic equation it will be something whole square that means now you can clearly understand that it is your side there okay yeah because until or unless you will not be able to find side 
so it is not possible to get perimeter because fundamentally we know that perimeter of square perimeter equals to four times side okay okay oh give me a second four times side four times side yeah so now you can plug in your side value over here that means it will be now that is 4 times b minus 4 so it will be equals to 4 b minus 16 and centimeter that is your perimeter understand clearly yeah great So, with respect to expression, beta expression for quadratic equation that I can give you many things there. Wait, hold on. Uh, 8, uh, yeah, I explain up to 8. Uh, 9 is this, uh, 9 up to 9. Okay, and your, here you can see that it is, below is a rectangle, the length is the length is 3x minus 1 centimeter perimeter is 10x centimeter find the expression for the area of rectangle oh so perimeter is 10x okay so we have to apply firstly perimeter formula to find its breadth okay because it's your because breadth you don't know okay you don't know about breadth so whatever is given it is given perimeter here so you have to apply perimeter formula we know that perimeter equals to twice of length plus breadth okay okay and if you want to get your breadth so firstly you can transfer 2 over this side it will be p by 2 equals to l plus b and then breadth equals to l will again transfer here so it will be p by 2 minus l okay that is okay. your breadth okay, okay. Oh, sorry. do you understand it yeah. yeah then when you will get this expression now you can apply your now you can plug in your values over there you can see here clearly that perimeter that is given 10x so it will be 10x divided by 2 minus length that is your 3x minus 1 that is your breadth clear yeah okay 10x by 2 you can simplify that one 2 ones are 2 2 fives are 10 now it will be here 5x minus in bracket 3x minus 1 equals to b now you can open your now you can open your parenthesis so it will be 5x minus 3x plus 1 equals to breadth clear yeah, yeah. 5x minus 3x because they are variable come constant combination of variable and constant 5 mango minus 3 mango you will get 2 mango plus 1 equals to b great it's your answer okay do you understand that yeah, yeah. and when you will get your breath when you will get your breath they are asking find the expression for area okay so now next will be you have to apply your area formula area equals to length times breadth so you can plug in your values over here so length is your 3x minus 1 and then breadth that you find out just before it is your 2x minus 2x plus 1 okay okay yeah 2x plus 1 and then you can see that you have to multiply that one so 3x into 2x it will be 6x square 
wait by different color if I will do that then you will understand clearly give me a second uh, yeah 3x 3x into 2x that will be 6x square 3x into plus 1 that will be plus 3x minus 1 into 2x that will be minus 2x and minus 1 into 1 that will be minus 1 do you understand this one yeah. I multiplied it here again just to understand that in which way I am multiplying firstly 3x into 2x again next 3x into 1 and next you can see that minus 1 into 2 and minus 1 into 1 clear in this yeah. way that I solve that one and then I get it here so now next step in next step you can see that it will be equals to wait hold on it will be 6x square and plus 3x minus 2x 3x minus 2x you will get plus x and minus 1 it is your area understand that yeah clearly yeah great <laughs> so these questions are very important beta okay these questions are very important this type of question will come in your test or exam 100% okay okay so each and every class after beta you have to revise all that so that if there will be any problem so you can ask me at any time and if you are feeling problem then firstly you have to go through website you have to go to my channel and then you have to see that again and again <laughs> yeah and still if you are feeling problem then at any time that you can at either your physics turn either your chemistry turn you can ask that to me i'll explain that to you okay okay now come to next slide yes here you can see that perimeter of rectangle is this okay perimeter of rectangle that is this find the expression for the area of rectangle okay. uh, perimeter of rectangle Yes. so wait a second one more important thing parameter of rectangle is given that is 2 L plus B okay um, only one thing is given okay let me try parameter that is equals to 2 L plus B <coughs> now parameter that is given to you 8x wait by different color we can also do that uh, 8x plus 16 that is equals to twice of L plus B wait L plus B so you can do one thing this two can come here downwards so it will be 8x plus 16 divided by 2 that is equals to your L plus B okay and then uh, you can take common in your numerator like uh, 2 and then in parenthesis 4x plus 8 divided by 2 again that is equals to L plus B then 2 and 2 will be cancelled 
so length plus breadth therefore you will get l plus b that is your 4x plus 8 oh my god perimeter of rectangle is this but how is it possible to get area because you can see that you are getting that length plus breadth that is your 4x plus 8 okay um no 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 perimeter of rectangle if that would be perimeter of a square then we can think about that from there we can find your side and then you can find your area but here perimeter of rectangle that becomes twice of length plus breadth i plug in the value over there and then from there you can get there uh, wait here will be plus yeah 2 l plus b so from here you can get that the sum of length plus breadth and most important thing that area of rectangle that you know that area equals to length times breadth that becomes okay uh, yes yeah so how can we do that here is length plus breadth there is length into breadth length plus breadth you are getting 4x plus 8 and uh, Sean uh, these slides are with respect to your uh, website Lessons. Lessons, uh, yeah. But here we can see that it is not possible to yeah, get the area because at least that one of that that should be there. Perimeter of rectangle is given. How can we find its area? Wait, is that something I am missing? No. Because if that will be square, then we can do that. No problem. Because that if that will be square, so perimeter of square fold into side. Then from there we can find side, and then area equals to side square, and you can do that. But if that is given rectangle, uh, Sean, I think that this time. I don't think that we are able to find that one length plus breadth we know that but we don't know about perimeter uh, if we'll do that breadth equals to but it will be length yeah but uh, that will be in the same case of um, wait let me see the next slide can you find more than one expression we can find only one expression that means the sum of its length and breadth let's check the another slide the perimeter of uh, perimeter of rectangle is this find an expression for the area of rectangle extension can you find more than one expression? Why are you able to find more than one? What? She did just skip, skip that question. Um, yes, because... No, no, expression, we can understand that expression whatever that I explained that to you that yeah. from perimeter equals to 2 L plus B and then from next expression that will be L plus B equals to 4 X plus 8 but we can't find the expression for the area of rectangle yeah. because here is not given any length or breadth Breath, yeah. 
I don't know that why you are asking this question, okay? Why you are able to find, okay, great. Is there is something? Their answers are given anywhere? No. Uh, I don't know, but uh, it is not possible to find the area of rectangle, either its length or breadth that is not given. Okay? If perimeter, if perimeter is given and length is given, then firstly you can find your breadth and then you can apply your formula. But if both length and breadth, yeah, you can see that length and breadth both are not given. Both yeah. are unknown. Yes, both are unknown. <laughs> okay, so you can write here one uh, here, both length and breadth. Breath are unknown. So it is not possible possible to find area. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes, 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 clearly, clearly. I can, I'm sure about that. Because at least that one quantity that will be unknown, then we can apply your formula and other things to find. Okay. So, but this slide that uh, we, I explained that to you, you have to understand this one and your class will be uploaded. Okay. Just I'm going to upload your class. Okay. So, thanks for today. Just please and please revise your all yeah. the that I had explained that to you. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.